Wood's alloy is commonly used in sprinklers and tanks containing gases. It's because it has a low melting point, and during a fire, it melts, relieving pressure, or to activate the extinguishing system. In Europe, it is very common to have wood's alloy in the air tanks or gas tanks. To melt all the alloy and to make it, I'm going to be using a little denatured alcohol torch and a glass test tube. I'll drop each element in and heat up the elements until they melt and make the alloy. I'm starting off with the 50% of this pack. I'm using a little alcohol flame because I don't want the temperature to get too hot. Because if it gets too hot, the bit flow cadmium will off gas. And as discussed before, it plants the nose. This meat is melting. Time to add in the lead. Lead is also dangerous, but not as bad as cadmium. Just don't lick it. You can see the cadmium on top floating around. If you noticed, as more metal got in there, it was able to melt quicker. This is due to the heat that it holds and it has more surface area to contact to cause it to melt quicker. It took the bismuth a while to melt because there was less surface area contacting the hot glass.
has melted. I'm agitating to mix up the mixture to make sure it is a homogeneous mixture so there's no separate parts or too much of metal at one time in one area. So it is completely mixed. You can see that it's even more movable and more liquidy at the alcohol burning temperature than it was with just plain bismuth or just bismuth and lead or bismuth and tin. Now, I'm going to dump it out into this container. And there we have it. A eutetic fusible alloy, woods metal. It is a quite brittle metal. And there we have it, 20 grams.